Yo, 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 big kish back up in here. We about to go over why 50 Cent keep taking up a drink. Why is he siding with this man? Is it because he's trying to get him in a movie and get his acting career back started? Because we know 50 Cent is about that money. He's about that paper. Let's get into why he, he be keep siding with Drake. Because it seemed like he going against the West Coast, man. Without further ado, y'all know I'm like holy y'all. Let's get, get, get it. 50 Cent and Drake, they meet up in mm -hmm. Canada. 50's going to 50 as well, man. 50 was on stage. Extremely petty. Yep. So yeah, so petty, bro. Yeah, he thanked Canada Hell yeah. for, uh, <laughs> you know, just being with him and rocking with him. And, yeah. and he even said it, Lou. What did he say? A couple of y'all. Yeah, a couple know? of y'all kicked out Rick Rocks. Yeah, man. Rick Rocks is pointing in the audience. A couple yeah. of y'all yeah. kicked Rick Rocks. <laughs> this, right here. Rick Ross just dropped a video. I ain't going to go over it, but I'm going to just tell y'all. Rick Ross just dropped a video saying he want to do business with 50. He got 50 Cent music playing in the background. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think he's serious or y'all think he's just uh, trolling? Let's get it. One more, one more, one more. I was told y'all ain't going to let nobody disrespect the West Coast, huh? Now, I will say this. This could be something that could bring Drake back from his acting. His acting. You know what I'm saying? If he, if he put him in one of them powers or one of the movies or something like that, this probably could, you know, bring him back but have a different uh, fan base as well. Oh, y'all ain't gonna let nobody mock and imitate our legends, huh? While Drake is definitely on the losing end of his beef with Kendrick Lamar and catching major shade from the hip hop community, not everyone has abandoned him. 50 Cent recently traveled to Toronto to hang out with Drake, and he revealed that they're working on a secret project together. Now, despite not being a West Coast native as Dr. Dre's protege, 50 has close ties to the West Coast, which is why Kendrick's fans are now accusing 50 of trolling Kendrick and betraying the culture. See, 50 wore an LA hat instead of his usual NYC one during his meeting with Drake and fans are trying to figure out what kind of message 50 was trying to send to the West Coast. Now some fans think 50 is just being his usual petty self and they're saying Drake is probably trolling Rick Ross and it has nothing to do with Kendrick or the West Coast. Also I highly doubt Kendrick cares who 50 Cent hangs out with but fans are still side eyeing 50 for his move especially with the ongoing drama over Drake disrespecting the West Coast and Tupac. See the same day Drake met up with 50 he shared a photo of his new car that looked very similar to the one Tupac was shot in. And then the following day, Drake shared yet another mirror selfie wearing a Tupac shirt. So with 50 being loyal to Dr. Dre, fans can't help but feel some type of way about him linking up with Drake. I mean, sure, it could be strictly business and nothing personal, but it's not like 50 needs Drake's help. I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. 50 Cent is smart. He's, he's, a, he's a master manipulator, man. He, he's a chess player. He's a chess player, man. He see an opportunity to get money. We don't see it right now. We don't see what he's trying to do, but he's doing something. And understand when these rappers get together or, you know, they trying to do a meet and greet. Sometimes y'all remember when Kanye West was like, I'm going to call the paparazzi on myself. I think it was Kanye. It might be somebody else. But don't think that for a second they don't get camera people to just like, yo, I'm going to have you stand over there. I'm going to be over here with Drake and I'm going to be talking to him. You just put the camera on us because, you know, I'm trying to do I'm trying to work a move right quick. That's what they do, man. Help to grow his empire. He has been doing more than fine without him. So what kind of message is 50 trying to send by teaming up with Drake? Is he just making money moves and trolling Rick Ross in the process? Or is he actually declaring himself Team Drake and co-signing Drake's disrespect of the West Coast? Let's break it down. You're making me feel so at home. Must be a lot of money, okay? Yeah. Because, because some of y'all, some of y'all, I, I kick Rick Ross, kick Rick Ross, ass, right? Okay. So I want to thank you again for making me feel so at home. 
So while most of the rap world seems to have taken Kendrick Lamar's side in his feud with Drake, 50 Cent is not letting the beef stop him from doing business with Drizzy. On Sunday, July 21st, 50 took to Instagram to share a photo of himself and Drake from their hangout the night before, and it set the internet ablaze. 50 captioned the photo of him and Drake brainstorming last night. Me and Champagne Poppy gonna get the camera rolling. Biggest thing on your TV. Meanwhile, okay. there's also this video making the rounds online showing 50 and Drake laughing it up over some drinks. So we know that 50 Cent is looking to expand his power universe, and it's possible this project he and Drake were brainstorming might involve Drake's past life as an actor and producer, or even a top boy crossover. And then it's also likely that 50's involvement in the Drake Kendrick saga could be more about throwing shade at his old nemesis Rick Ross. Just last month, 50 clowned Ross after he got jumped in Vancouver for playing Not Like Us. Hey guys, you know, I just saw a, a very unfortunate situation that took place in Canada, and I wanted to say to everyone, you know, that I, um, I hope that that brother made it home safely. I hope that uh, he now has a different perspective and a better sense of what to do and what not to do while you're out in the world, you know? Um, that part where the, 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 the young guy went like, he did this little move and got knocked like right there. That was not, that does not reflect him. That reflects his camp. And he might need to go get the, uh, the dream chasers. But even if 50 is only doing business with Drake to troll Rick Ross, Kendrick's fans are not impressed. They're accusing 50 of disrespecting Kendrick and the entire West Coast and stirring the pot on purpose. See, the Drake-Kendrick feud isn't just about who's the better rapper. For years, Drake has been slammed with culture vulture accusations, and he recently stirred things up even more by blatantly disrespecting West Coast legends like Tupac. And then with the PDF allegations swirling around Drake's OVO crew, fans are saying 50 might as well team up with Diddy next. Many fans are also accusing 50 of being a sellout, saying there's a fine line between being a smart businessman and having no principles about what you'll do for money. Besides that, folks are also wondering how he be wearing some nice ass shirts. Let me see that shirt. And, and having no principles about what you'll do for money. Besides that, folks are also wondering how 50 Cent, who was discovered by Dr. Dre, doesn't feel any type of way about cozying up to someone who's been consistently disrespecting the West Coast. Because like I said, this thing. beef is- I, I don't get it. I don't see, I don't think that 50 Cent is coming at Kendrick Lamar. I just think he feel like, that, you know, this is a, it's a money grab because don't, ain't Ken, don't Kendrick Lamar got some ties with um, Shady Records or something like that? Like they all tied in together uh, somehow, some way. It, it's it's it, and I don't yeah. It's it's a money grab for fifty. You know what I mean? He, he about he about he about the money, man clearly way deeper than just Drake versus Kendrick. It's about the hip hop community's frustration with Drake engaging in what many see as culture vulture behavior. On top of that, over the past couple of years, these feelings reached a fever pitch when Drake started doubling down on his disrespect for the West Coast and its legends. Drake first bragged on push-ups that he's more loved in LA than Kendrick. Then on Taylor Made Freestyle, he went a step further and used Tupac and Snoop Dogg's AI voices to diss Kendrick. And off. since Drake had already stirred the pot by purchasing Tupac's iconic ring, the West Coast wasn't gonna just let this slide. Tupac's family also made it clear that they want nothing to do with Drake, and they blasted him for disrespecting Tupac's legacy by using an AI voice to diss Kendrick. The family forced Drake to pull TaylorMade Freestyle from his social media account, and the attorney for the Tupac Shakur estate, Howard E. King, said in a statement that Drake's unauthorized use of Tupac's voice was a flagrant violation of Tupac's publicity and the estate's legal right. King said the estate would never have given its approval for this use. The unauthorized, equally dismaying use of Tupac's voice against Kendrick Lamar, a good friend to the estate who has given nothing but respect to Tupac and his legacy publicly and privately, compounds the insult. But say, Drake didn't care. He continued. He tried to say Kendrick Lamar sent the uh, cease and assist on, on him. <laughs> and I he the one that's been sending them joints. Continue to poke the bear and troll the West Coast. On his Kendrick diss track, Family Matters, Drake raps, you know who really bang a set? My Ninja YG. Now this pissed off a lot of people on the West Coast because first of all, YG is from Compton and rolls with the same crew that Kendrick is affiliated with. And then there's also the fact that YG already told Drake to keep his name out of any beef. On the track Weird, YG rapped, when it's smoke, don't ever mention my name. And let's not forget that YG showed his allegiance by standing with 
Kendrick during his The Pop Out show in Inglewood in June. Not only did YG rock the stage during DJ Mustard's set, but he was also seen dancing while Kendrick performed Not Like Us. But Drake being Drake, he just kept doubling down. On Family Matters, he also alleged that Kendrick doesn't give back to his own community, saying, don't even go back to your hood and plant no money trees. But see, this is factually wrong, because Kendrick has given back to Compton plenty of times. He just doesn't like to make a big show of it. Remember when he quietly donated money to his high school alma mater? It only came to light when Noisy asked him about it in an interview, and Kendrick was shocked. Hey, y'all listen to this part, bro. This some real sh right here, man. This some real sh you know what I mean? You could tell he ain't on that vainglorious. Everybody look at me doing everything for a photo op. You know what I mean? That they even knew about it. It's a little bit deeper than just the music. Yes. It's cats out here really trying to do something and really trying to spark the idea of uh, positivity in the community. Let me tell my story. Let me tell other stories that's out here that's, that want to do something different but can't because you, you're in an environment where you just got to adapt. And what happens is it, it, it invites people in to get another perspective. It brings a whole another side of the world to Compton, to this backyard right here, and say, okay, these are actually people. Is that why you wanted to give money to Centennial? To sort of steer kids in a similar direction? Yeah, how y'all know that info? Because <laughs> we were there. We, we, we were at the jazz we band. Keep yeah. That was nothing I wanted to put out there in the papers or whatnot. I just wanted to do that. In high school, there was a lot of freestyle sessions. When you have people around you that actually see something in you, they give you that extra push. Mm -hmm. Stay in that studio, man. Stay in the studio. But guess what? Drake's not backing down. While hanging out with 50 Cent in Toronto. Drake made a whole damn video and published how much he gave out. You could, man, you could tell like the spirit between certain people. He donated that money. He was like, yo, how, how you know about that? Nah, you weren't supposed to know about that. You know what I mean? Because the fact, God said, what you do in the dark, he'll bring to the light. You know what I'm saying? But if you do everything, wanting, wanting everybody to see you, that's your reward right there. You, you already got your reward. Toronto, Drake posted a series of photos, including one of him posing in front of a black BMW on his Instagram story. Now, here's where it gets messy. Fans noticed that the car looked very similar to the one Tupac was tragically in back in 1996. Now, just to clear things up, it's now been confirmed that Drake didn't buy the actual car Tupac was in, at least not yet. The real car is still up for auction at Celebrity Cars Las Vegas, but fans are definitely feeling like Drake's choice of car was a shady way of saying he's not scared of Kendrick's warnings about disrespecting Tupac and the West Coast. Now you might think this is a bit of a stretch, but if you've been following Drake, you know this is definitely on brand for him. He loves to throw these sly subliminal messages on Instagram. Case in point, this new mirror selfie he shared just one day after hanging out with 50. Drake was seen posing in a green airbrushed Tupac Only God Can Judge t-shirt, and he completed the look with a pair of sparkling emerald colored Timbaland boots. So the fact that Drake is still using Tupac's image to troll Kendrick and the West Coast after Tupac's own family and estate made it clear that they don't mess with him is so weird. And the fact that Dr. Dre's protege 50 Cent was right there with him in Toronto while he was once again stirring the pot and taunting the West Coast about Tupac. I mean, 50 might not be a West Coast native, but he's got deep ties there thanks to Dr. Dre. Remember, it was Eminem and Dre who gave 50 his big break when the whole industry was sleeping on him. And he's been ride or die loyal to them ever since. And we also know that Dr. Dre very publicly threw his support behind Kendrick during his beef with Drake and even hit the stage with him at the pop-out show in Inglewood performing Tupac's hit California Love and introducing Kendrick's first live performance of Not Like Us. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Drake. You ain't gonna say, you ain't gonna say nothing else before, you know, we continue to party? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna just need a moment of silence for this. Man, Dre love that nigga, man. Dre, Dre, look, <laughs> he's he like, oh, okay, okay, I got you, little bro. I got you, I got you. Psst. Psst. 
Hey, you know who I want to see, and they, if they do another Tales from the Hood, Dre. Dre looked like he had played that scary dude uh, who was like, this shit. <laughs> yeah, he, he looked like he could play something, something like that, man. I wish they wouldn't have messed up that movie. So with Dre back in Kendrick and 50 Cent cozying up to Drake while he's throwing serious shade at the West Coast, it's got everyone wondering, how does Dre feel about 50's new alliance with Drizzy? What is 50 thinking doing business with someone who's been blatantly disrespecting the West Coast? Now, like I said, some fans are saying it's not that deep and they believe 50 Cent has always been about business first. Someone said, I'm so tired of people acting like people can't talk to people and feeling like everybody is ops. Like, yo, leave that ignorant street BS out of regular MFers life. K Dot, Drake, and 50 make millions. Ain't nobody thinking like Vaughn and the rest of MFers that's been dropped. Stop it. But most of Oh. They said ain't nobody thinking like Vaughn and them. Hey, that, that's a fact though. That's a fact. Because it's you got certain rappers out here that really be trying to delete people. These guys over here, like uh, Kendrick Lamar, Drake and them, I don't think they really trying to get people deleted and all that for real, for real. Others think 50 is still weird for linking up with Drake at this particular moment. Yeah, and some yeah. are even going as far as branding him a sellout. One fan said, 50 Cent is a snitch. I'm not shocked. He's a raccoon and sellout. He's the same man who was celebrating Rick Ross getting jumped by a group of Hell's Angels. And then someone else added, let's make 50 Cent the example next. I'm done watching any of his shows. <laughs> Nobody is above the culture. But what's your take on 50 linking up with Drake? Look, they, they said, let's cancel 50 Cent next. Y'all want to cancel 50 Cent next? Do what y'all want to do. Y'all want <laughs> the people got the power, man. But I really think he um I really think there's some money move for him. I think he he uh he trying to do some movie stuff with him. He probably trying to do some movie stuff with him. He he kind of got game uh, the game tendency. He kind of act like the game for real. But y'all let me know what y'all think of the video, man. Uh, Big Kiss signing out, man. I'm going. Y'all y'all put in the comment section what y'all want to do for the next giveaway too. Uh, that 20K. We're going to be creeping up on that joint shortly. Yeah. I'm gone.